Good morning class, I am your teacher for today's discussion. Our topic for today is all about playing format in volleyball. But before anything else, let's have our class objective. Let me read our class objectives. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. Distinguish the playing format in volleyball. B. Present the composition of playing format in volleyball. And see, create a summary about the playing format in volleyball. Now, let's start our formal discussion. Again, our topic for today is all about playing format in volleyball. The first composition of playing format is how to score a point or to score a point and how to score a point class. Okay, these are the ways on how to score a point. A team score a point by successfully landing the ball on the opponent's court. Next, when the opponent team commits a foul. And last, when the opponent teams receive a penalty. So that, that's our ways on how to score a point. Next, the fault of the volleyball. What is the fault of the volleyball class? So a team commits a fault by making a playing action contrary to the part or the violating them in some other way. The referees judge the fault and determine the consequences according to the rules. So these are the rules. If two or more faults are committed successively, only the first one is committed or counted. Next, if two or more faults are committed by opponents simultaneously, a double fault is called and the rally is replayed. Next class, what is the rally and completed rally? So, rally is the sequence of playing actions from the moment of the service hit by the server until the ball is out of play. What is the completed rally class? So, completed rally is the sequence of playing actions from the moment of the service hit by the, survey, by, by the server until the ball is cut out of play. So, this includes the following. The award of penalty loss of service for service, hit made after the time limit, if the serve serving team wins a rally, it scores a point and continues to serve. If the receiving team wins a rally, it scores a point and it must serve next. Next is how to win the set. Class, how to win a set in volleyball. A set except the de deciding fifth set is won by the team which first scored 25 points with a minimum lead of 2 points. In case of a 24-24 tie score, play in a continued until a 2 points lead is achieved. How to win the match? The match is won by the team that wins 3 sets. In the case of the 2-2 tie, the, deci the deciding 5th set is played to 15 points with a minimum lead of 2 points. So next is default and incomplete team. What is default and incomplete team class? If the team refuses to play after being summoned to do so, it is declared in default and forfeit the match with a result of 3 over 0 for the match and 0 over 25 for each set. That a team that without justifiable reason does not appear on the playing court on time is declared in fault with the same result as in Rule 641. A team that is declared incomplete for the set or for the match loses the set or the match. The opponent team is given the points or the points and the set needed to win the set of the, or the match. The incomplete team skips its points and set. X is the structure of play. What is the structure of play in volleyball? First is the toss. Before the match, the first referee carries out a toss to decide upon the first service and the size of the court in the first set. Next, if a deciding set is to be played, the new toss will be carried out. Next, the toss is taken in the presence of the two team captains. Next, the winner of the toss chooses the following, either the right to server or to server to receive the service or the side of the court. 
the, lo the loser takes the remaining choice. Again, the loser takes the remaining choice. Next is the official warm-up session. So, prior to the match, if the teams have previously had a playing court exclusively under disposal, they are entitled to a 6 minutes official warm-up period together at the net. If not, they may have 10 minutes. Next, if either captain requests separate consecutive official warm-ups at the net, the teams are allowed 3 minutes each or 5 minutes each. Last, in the case of consecutive official warm-ups, the team that has the first service takes the first turn at the net. Next is the team starting lineup. So, the team starting lineup indicates the rotation order of the players on the court. This order, order must be maintained throughout the set. Before the start of each set, the coach has to present the starting lineup of his or her team on a lineup sheet or via the ele electronic device if used. The sheet is sub the sheet is submitted jury filed and signed. To the second referee or the scorer or electronically sent directly to the e scorer, the players who are not in the starting lineup of the or of the set are the substitutes for the set except Dali Barrow. Once the lineup sheet has been delivered to the second referee or scorer, no change in the lineup may authorize without regular substitution. Next is the positions. At the moment the ball is hit by the server, each team must be po positioned within its own court in the rotational order except the server. The position of the players are numbered as follows. The three players along the net are front row players and occupy position 4 front and left, 3 front to center, and 2nd and 2 front to right. And other three are back row players occupy, occupying position 5 back left, position 6 back center, and position 1 back right. Next is the relative positions between players. What is relative position between players? Each back row players must be positioned further back from the center line that than the corresponding front row, front row player. The front row player and the back row players respectively must be positioned laterally in order to indicate in rule 741. Position of the players are determined and controlled according to the position of their feet contacting the, the ground as following. Each front row player must have at least a part of his or her foot closer the center line and the feet on the corresponding back row player. Each right or left side player must have at least a part of his or her foot closer to the right, left, side line than the feet of the center line in the row. After the service hit, the players may move around the around and occupy any position on their court and free zone. Next, the positional fold. What is the positional fold class? The team commits in a positional fold. If any player is not in his or her correct position at the moment, the ball is hit by the server when a player is on court through illegal substitution and play restarts. This is accounted as a positional fold with with the consequences of an illegal substitution. If the server commits a serving fault at the moment of the service serving hit, the server's fault is counted before a positional fault. If, there, if the service becomes faulty after the service hit, it is the positional fault that will be counted. Positional fault leads to the following consequences. The team is sanctioned with a point and service to the opponent. Next, player's position must be red refined. Next, the rotation of the play. The rotation order is determined by the 
Teams starting lineup and control with a service order and players decision throughout the set. When the receiving team has gained the right to serve, each player rotate one position clockwise. The player in position 2 rotate in to position 1 to serve. The player in position 1 rotates to position 6 and etc. Next, rotational fault. A rotational fault is committed when the service is not made according to the rotational order. It leads to the following consequences in order. The score is stopped play by the buzzer. The opponent gains a point and next servers. If the rotational fault is determined only after the completion of the rally which started with the rotational fault, only a single point is awarded to opponent regardless of the result of the rally play. Next, the rotational order of the faulty team must be ret rectified. Additionally, the scorer should determine the exact moment when the fault was committed and all points scored sub Subsequently, by the team, at fault must be cancelled. The opponent's points remain valid. If that moment can be determined, no points cancellation takes place. And the point and service to the opponent is only the sanction. And that's all for today's discussion class. Did you understand about playing format in volleyball? Very good. Now, let's move to our activity.